Hey Monty, guess what? Today, I'm gonna to be making a video. Well, whoopie do. Well, yeah. I'm gonna reveal a money saving tip today. Well, I've got a tip for you. How can you save anything if you owe nothing? Well, go on then, jog on and be happy. Don't bloody listen to her. Hello everybody. Today is a good day. In fact, it could be a money saving day if you own a Mark V Mondeo. What I'm gonna talk about is the Mark V Mondeo two litre diesel with the six speed manual transmission, not the 1.6 litre engines, because I think they may be different. I'm gonna talk about drive shafts, specifically the inner drive shaft joint because you may well know if you own one of these cars and you've got quite a bit of mileage on it that the inner drive shaft joints get worn out. They've got little roller bearings that break up. Then you get a lot of vibration in your car, especially when you're accelerating. And then you think, well, I need to replace my drive shaft joint and realize you can't get a joint for it. In fact, you have to buy half the bloody shaft and it's got to come from Ford because I don't think aftermarket companies are making them yet and they're very expensive. I'm talking about, off the top of my head, I think they're about 350 pound to replace the inner joint, and it comes as a kit form, so you've got to build it up anyway. Unless you buy a complete drive shaft, which is a probably 500 pound plus. It's a lot of money. So anyway, a guy messaged me a couple of weeks ago. His name is Rob Nolte. I'm gonna put his message in the description below. Also, I'm gonna put it on the screen here because he has found a way of finding the actual bearings that fit inside these drive shafts and they fit and they work. And you buy them, you buy them on the spindle. All three bearings on the spindle for 40 pound. That's what I paid for them. And <laughs> I've actually tried these and they fit. I didn't want to say nothing a few weeks ago just in case there was a problem but I've bought them, I've got a drive shaft, I'll show you them on the drive shaft, but believe me or not, they bloody well fit as well, and what else can I say? What's not to like? 40 pound is better than spending 350 pound. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this drive shaft in the vise and quickly show you the bearings on it, then I'll bang on a bit more. Now this is an old drive shaft I had off a smashed up taxi some weeks back now. So it's not ever gonna get used again, but I thought I'd just show it for this. So these bearings, they come, I'll actually show you the part number and I will put a link in the description to where I got these from. But the Spider, if you notice, these are off a Mark IV Mondeo. So these fit in a Mark IV Mondeo two litre diesel. And they're the same bearings that go in the Mark V. So the Spider fits on the splines and I'll tap that on. That's it. Now that's tapped on perfectly, you would put your circlip on there. I'm not going to put the circlip on because I've got to take these off again because I'm not going to use them on this drive shaft. But now we need to get the other side of the drive shaft and fit it onto this. Before I pop the bearings into here, I'm just going to point something out. The grease in here, although it looks a bit of a mustardy colour, it is actually yellow when you get it new out the packet. And the grease in these inner joints is different to what goes in the outer joint. The outer joints will have a black CV joint grease as what you would be expected to know. But these inner joints, for some reason, they use this yellow grease. I don't know the reason why, but that's what Ford supply. So I, I would uh, put the right grease in. You can use ordinary CV grease, I guess. I don't know what the results of that would be, but I guess it would be okay. Right, I'm gonna to attempt to put these in. As with these things, they're always a little bit fiddly. You've got to kind of align the bearings in the slots in the, in the cup here. There you go, and we're in. That's a nice sliding fit in there. So we push that all the way in, obviously you'd put your boot on. I would suggest 
these hard rubber boots do not ever use a cable ties, it will never hold them. You want to get a proper metal strap, preferably the one Ford supplies, to strap these up. And there you go. That is, oh, grease is dripping out. That is absolutely perfect. I'm twisting the drive shafts half against each other and there's next to nothing in the way of play in there. It doesn't feel like there's any kind of like sloppiness, so that's good. So that's it. Mr. Rob Nolte, thank you very much. You're going to save a lot of people a lot of money now. So right, I should put this down because I'm getting covered in crap. And just in case, if you didn't know, these little bearings, when I take it apart, you've got loads and loads of little roller bearings there. And what happens is they fall to pieces. They get, they get smashed to pieces, get worn out. I don't know whether it's a grease problem or what, but they get knocked out. And when all these little bearings get falling apart, then you've got a lot of slop in this. And obviously you get a, that gives you a lot of vibration in your car when you're accelerating and driving. That's the box they come in. And you can see they're, like, they're made by a company called Febest. I've heard of them before, but it's, it's not a name that sort of like springs to mind every day. And here's the receipt, which actually shows. 37 pound 99 pence. So yeah, for 40 pound you can't really go wrong. I have rung up motor factors, all of them actually, asking if they do aftermarket drive shafts for the Mark V Mondeo, and they don't seem to do them at the moment. So uh, paying 350 pound for half a drive shaft that you've got to build up yourself, it's a lot of money. And all you really want, all that really gets knocked out is the bearings. If the drive shaft boot was damaged, then you've obviously got to replace that for a good one. I'd probably refer you to Ford. It's probably going to cost you £80 for a boot kit, which comes with the inner and outer boot kits. I will say here, talking about the, the outer drive shaft joint, I found on these Mark V's that if you get even the tiniest split in the outer drive shaft boot, you need to re replace that boot because once dampness gets in there, it will destroy the grease and it will knock the outer joint out. And believe me, the outer drive shaft joint, which seem to last very, very well as long as that boot is sealed. They last longer than the inner joints. They are bloody expensive as well. So if you get one of them knocked out, it's going to cost you big time. And I haven't, there's no answer to that one apart from buying one from Ford. So anyway, thanks to Rob. He's sorted out this problem. See, now you know you can take that link in the description if you need to buy any of these bearings, get a bearings, maybe get a boot kit from Ford, get the proper straps, get the grease for the drive shaft, and at the end of it, even if it's cost you £150 to actually do your drive shaft up and fix it again, it's better than paying free £400. Anyway, that's just an information that I wanted to pass on today. So, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all in the next one. See ya.